So for this video, I'm going to use yarn in size 4 medium. I'm going to use uh, two strands together. And the crochet hook that I'll be using is in size 5.5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot. And then I will chain 10. Now, on the last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 1, I'll chain 5. Now through the next chain, I'll make one triple triple crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make two triple triple crochet. I'll chain two. Then uh, through this next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Again, I'll chain two. Then through this next chain, I'll make three treble crochet. I'll chain 5. Through this next chain, I'll make uh, one slip stitch. Again, I'll chain 5. Through this next chain, I'll make 3 triple crochet. chain two. Through this next chain I'll make one half double crochet. Again I'll chain two. Now through this next chain I'll make um, two triple triple crochet. So through the same chain I'll make two triple triple crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one triple triple crochet. Again, I'll chain five. Then, right there through the same chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one. Then, I'll cut this yarn. Let's weave these ends in now. This is the third attempt to make this butterfly. This is the first one and it looked really bad. And there was one after that where I didn't even create the loop here. I want to see how it looks and the butterfly looks so skinny. So this is the third version and so far it actually looks good. So now we're going to move to the next step. So right here at this center, I'm going to insert my hook and then I'm going to Make a slip knot for this yarn. And I start knot through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I will chain 10. So one, two, make sure your work is tight in this particular part. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's cut this yarn for now. 
and we can make one more. So start with this loop knot right away. So through the same chain I insert my hook, then I should not play slip knot loop and pull through. Again, I'll chain 10, make sure your chains are tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. So, 10. It actually, hmm. it looks nice, it doesn't look perfect, but you know, it's nice. It looks nice enough. Let's cut this yarn. Let's make a double knot here. And then we will weave these ends in. Okay, so I weave these ends in. So you see here where we have these two strands. Just gonna get as close as I can. And then I'm going to trim them. So this is all for today guys and I'll see you next time with another video.